Ja, und somit herzlich willkommen zurück zu Cyberpunk 2077. Weiter geht's. Ich würde mal sagen, wir rufen jetzt Detective Ward an. Und hören mal, was er so zu so erzählen hat. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name is V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? That you'd best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffalo's. Be there, Stat. Detective Ward. Der weiß auf jeden Fall mehr, als wir wahrscheinlich annehmen. Und woher soll das sonst wissen, dass dem Bürgermeister etwas passieren wird? Und er genau in diesem Zeitpunkt zu dieser Pressekonferenz kommt. Das ist schon ein bisschen komisch. Welcome hold for my mayor a steady hand. Okay, wait. Please leave me in peace. Ist das hier etwa genau das Gebäude, in dem das stattfand? Night City, the city of dreams. Ja, sieht mir ein bisschen so aus, als ob das hier das nicht Stadtzentrum im das Rathaus wäre. Militech Mac. The end is near. Interesting, was hier so abgeht, aber wir können hier nichts machen oder auch irgendwie nichts Neues finden. Ja, das war doof. Nee, ich glaube, da gibt es nichts. Taktische Polizist. Es ist ein schönes Gaming, dass es das hier gibt. Aber wir fahren mal weiter. Gleich sind wir da. Jubby und Buffalo's Barbecue. Hm. 
theoretisch wahrscheinlich nicht schöne, schöne Aussicht, aber mit der Nebelsuppe sieht man gar nichts. Ja, dann gehen wir einfach mal hier rein. Green to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be partners. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's an info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then. I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Okay. Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Has a bit loud here, Drin. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyberpsycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Shamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial? On the hush hush. As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. 
Morales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see his boss first. Guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psycho-muting meds, too. You better check it out. Okay. Hm, hört sich alles ziemlich komisch an. Irgendwie als ob die Offiziellen dahinter stecken in diesem ganzen Anschlag und irgendwie das betuschen möchten. Und mit Offiziellen meine ich äh, die Stadt, der Bürgermeister. Damit Jefferson Perales nicht an die Spitze kommt vielleicht. Das war rot, mein Gute. Ich glaube, da waren wir auch schon. Das sind sehr viele Tatorte in dieser Gegend hier. Good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%? What's it consist of? Writing reports. Not us. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. Cherry Blossom Markt. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. All right. Don't miss the bus. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Christine Markov? No, but I know who she is. Stand with that no. Over on the other side. 
Na, das ist doch schon mal was. Ich habe mich aus den Augen verloren, aber ich habe Christine Markov gefunden. Warte jetzt auf dich. Ja, schön. Komm ja gleich. Nagami Market. Ach, unser alter Freund. Ich wusste doch, dass wir hier schon mal waren. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Nein. No, not cops. Just looking for some intel. Everyone's always looking for something. At least I know where I stand with the cops. Other people. I'll open your mouth one day and Corpo Muscle or Gangoon show up on your doorstep the next. Peter Horvath. Worked for you, right? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Thanks for tuning in, Night City. Horvath make good scratch here? Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter hey, showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was bought. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pedal, weird doesn't mean what it means to everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Mm. These speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A uh, madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Yeah. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claws. V. Fuck off! Let's get the party started! What an out with this detectives? Naja. Yes. 
Sonst noch jemand? Walk in the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Gotta be. Well, duty calls. Walk in the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Gotta beef with all gangs or just the tigers. I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. Okay, sorry, but I think not that this would be different if you had it solved. The Tiger Claws are now Tiger Claws. Can I see any card claws? And then, we see another time. Sorry, wegen dem Papierkram. Mind if I just peruse? Mind if I just peruse? Naja, der hat ja gar nichts Spannendes. Haben wir irgendwas Spannendes zum Verkaufen vielleicht? Elektrischer Beta-Schlagstock. So, that was got can guilt. Hey, Bisschen was geklaut hat. So. Hey, you there? Hey, you dig brain dances? Hey, feast your optics right here, yo. Got the meanest, primest shit ever scroll. What have you got? For you, girl? That's the Night City has to offer. And that would be? The most Nova Spec, geeked out, turned up virtue you ever seen. Man, I'm talking like transcendental. Where's it from? You got a license for exclusive distribution in Night City? Come on, man. Ain't nobody bothered with that shit. Know why? Because the stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? Ich will ja nichts sagen, aber da steht ein Detective der Polizei hinter dir, aber... Okay. What's on the virtue? Real feeling, neuron shredding, high octane, transsensational, adrenaline pumping shit, yo. Your brain will blow us low, girl. Trust me on this one. 24.000. Ich weiß ja nicht. Andererseits... 
Warte kurz. 31.000 haben wir. Ja, komm. Alright. You got my attention. <lacht> Knew you couldn't resist. Virtues are all yours. A couple more eddies, you can use my plate. No need. I got my own wreath. Of course you do. It's probably top shelf, latest firmware too, right? You see, this virtue is approaching vintage grade. I doubt you'll be able to run it. Ich sehe schon, worauf das rausläuft. I'll try running it on my own first. If that doesn't work, I'll be back. Hey, hey, no problem. You know where to find me. Okay. Mit diesem weirden Take würde ich sagen, war es das für diese Folge von Cyberpunk 2077. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss. Buddy, I got you. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky high rate of violence and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. Samurai. We have a city to burn.